So I was totally shocked to find out who Brett Goldstein was going to play this season. Why was he the best choice to play the drunk driver who killed Tia? And how did you both kind of come to that decision? I almost messed it up because uh, in the writer's room and Brett is so humble and uh, would never like force himself into anything. I got caught up in the whole like, wait, he's but he's Roy Kent. He's grump. Rah, 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 rah. And uh, Jason Siegel really championed the idea. And I'm so glad that I get to be someone that can kind of cruise in and, and even pretend to take credit for it. Came here to apologize. You did it, you should go. I know you must hate me, but you did it good. Aside from the major story element to it, this is more like Brett the person. He's a sweet, sweet man and totally sympathetic and empathetic. And uh, if we had cast somebody that doesn't make you feel that way immediately, um, uh, the show probably wouldn't have worked this year. And he just absolutely crushed it. And not just because he shaved his beard off and looks like a little boy, but he crushed it. I would really like Get the f out of here! Get out of here! Get the f out of here! I can only presume that Jimmy will once again come face to face with Lewis later this season. What can you tease about how that interaction is going to look like? I think this season is about a journey of forgiveness. I think it's really easy to make uh, the object of your scorn into some sort of devil and to slowly realize that that's not how life works, um, I think is going to be part of the journey of their dynamic. So in terms of the character's intentions, you know, he plays a man named Lewis. Why is now the time he's coming? After all the time that's passed, why now to go find Jimmy and Hans? All right, well, there's two things. One story Easter egg that you might not have noticed, but it's, uh, uh, but it'll come up later is uh, he's essentially just out of uh, uh, his stay being incarcerated. So that's why he's kind of back, uh, back out in the world. Uh, but also because uh, when we pitched this show, we pitched a three season story. The first year was about grief and the second year was about forgiveness. Um, and I don't just mean one character forgiving another. I mean, if you remember the finale of last year, you know there's somebody uh, uh, that's gonna very uh, essentially need to forgive herself, you know? <laughs> you know? And uh, I don't think there's any moving forward for people that go through this type of catastrophic family event until, you know, and by the way, some people never do, but you know, forgive. But until you forgive, you're gonna be stuck in it forever. And uh, that's not to say that there's a pervasive theme that it works out great for everybody on this particular uh, season. But uh, I think people, if they follow the breadcrumbs, not just with uh, Jimmy and, and Lewis, they will see that all these characters on this show, oh, Paul, that's right, he has a daughter that he kind of checked out of her life for a long time. You know, that, that everybody's got some kind of amends they have to come to terms with.